Good morning, everyone. This is Mr. Perano. Um, I'm going to be going through the day two of scheduling. Um, all of you are pretty much experts at this, so this should be pretty easy for all of you. Um, what we're going to talk about is the how to to schedule, basically how you get in and how you schedule um, everything. What you're going to need for this scheduling process, um, and a lot of these forms are in the, the following pages, you'll need your scheduling worksheet, which is found on the scheduling hub, and I'll show you what that looks like. You will need to go to the program of studies. Um, if you click on the link that is in this, this presentation and also on the um, scheduling hub, you'll be able to go to program of studies and read about all the classes that you're gonna sign up for. It's really important that you do read about the classes you're signing up for and make sure you're making an informed decision um, because remember the classes you request today will be the ones you take next year. Please make sure to make a copy of a transcript. You can find this on Infinite Campus under documents and I'll show you where that's at. And make sure you have access to Infinite Campus Portal. You'll need these things to make sure you make the best choices possible for scheduling. Things to remember, studies halls and lunches will be scheduled for you by the computer. If you don't want study halls, then you can choose more classes. But be careful of that. If you choose a bunch of classes, you just might get them all. Um, make sure you know you're choosing classes that you can be successful in and you're not overwhelming yourself with a bunch of classes. Again, make sure you are reading the program of studies. When you're using the scheduling worksheet, this form is used as an organizational tool to select classes that you'll enter into your infinite campus uh, portal later. It's just a great way to plan out what you're gonna take so you can talk to your teachers and talk to your family so you make sure you're signing up for the right classes. It's really important that those students, you must sign up for at least six classes per semester or for those students who have 12 credits, 12 high school credits, you're allowed to sign up for five classes per semester. So typically that's your juniors and seniors signing up for five classes. Those that are freshmen and sophomores will be signing up for six classes a semester. If you don't sign up for enough, it's unfortunate, but we will have to pick classes for you. It's a bummer. We usually pick out the wrong ones, but make sure you're signing up for enough classes because that ensures you're gonna graduate on time. And if you were an athlete, it also ensures eligibility. When you're going to print off your transcript, just log into Infinite Campus. And a lot of this we want you to do on your actual Chromebook. It's kind of hard on your phone. So make sure you're using your Chromebook. Log into Infinite Campus. You're gonna go down to Documents, click on Documents. You're gonna click on the very bottom where it says unofficial transcript. It may say scheduling transcript, just depends. But you're gonna click on that transcript and what you'll get is something that looks like this. The reason we want you to have this is so you can look at the classes you're, you wanna take, make sure you're not signed up for the same things. And it also, it's a good practice to know what you've taken and where you, um, the classes that you wanna take going forward. These are the sample course offering forms. This is an example of the rising freshman one. You'll see on the right hand side of this presentation, there's links for all the other rising classes. Please download these and print these off. It's a great tool to have when you're requesting your classes so you know exactly what it is that you want to take. Um, you can find these on the scheduling hub, which is available today for you. You can go on there and print off as many as these you want so you can make sure you're making the great decision for your classes next year. With that, you can also use the course load balancing tool. The reason we have this is so students can plan out an eight period day and make sure you're taking at least six classes a semester. If you haven't had those, you aren't up to 12 credits yet or five classes a semester. It's important that you have enough. And you, the reason we take it across the year, like if you look at line one, class one, this isn't your schedule. This is just a planning tool to balance out your schedule. Um, if you don't have enough classes, again, unfortunately, we'll have to add some for you. This is a great way to give you a visual as to where, 
what your schedule may look like when it comes to the number of classes. So make sure you're signing up for enough. When you're doing your academic plan, make sure before you get to the point where you log into Infinite Campus to work on the My App that you've spoken to your teachers, you have done all the work in the program of studies. It's really important that you read the descriptions and exactly what you're getting into because the classes you request are the ones you're going to be in next year. Make sure you use all the tools at your disposal. You've used the registration uh, packet, that, that page where you're checking off classes, and also the balancing tool so you know everything you're going to take. All of this will open on the 20th, so you'll be able to start your scheduling. Um, to, um, well, you started scheduling yesterday. This is the day following. Um, teachers, at this time, if you could please pause this presentation and then go to the extra link where it's called Scheduling Your Classes. Planning future courses using the Infinite Campus Multi-Year Academic Planner. Students use the Academic Planner to select the courses they plan to take for the remainder of their high school years. Using this tool requires logging into the student or the parent portal. Students who already have high school credits may want to start by viewing their progress towards their graduation program or other programs like an honors program. This may help when selecting future courses. To view your progress, log into your portal account. From the menu, select Documents, Academic Plan Progress Report, and you'll see that your assigned graduation program appears by default. If you'd like to see your progress toward any of the other programs without changing your original one, just use the drop down. By selecting Detail, you can have an option of seeing all sorts of different types of information on your report. Choose a report format and then generate the report. Infinite Campus combines previous courses, current courses, and planned courses to determine if a student is on track for the selected program. This detailed report shows that the student has passed Algebra 1 and Geometry, they're currently taking Algebra 2, and they're planning to take Statistics. The status for the math requirements is therefore on track. To plan courses, select Academic Plan from the menu. If the student has been assigned to a graduation program by the school counselor, the assigned program appears at the top of the page. If no plan appears, the student should contact the counseling office. Using the drop-down, students may select a different graduation program if they choose to pursue a different diploma. Programs can always be changed back at any time the planner is open and available for student editing. Choose a post-graduation location if known, but this field is not currently required. We'll click Next. Each row is a different subject or credit type, and each column represents the grade level. The numbers beside the grade level represent how many credits have been earned or are planned versus the approximate number of credits needed for each grade level to fulfill the program requirements. Students are expected to plan a full schedule of classes every year. Alerts in the credit type or the subject row indicate credits and course requirements that have not yet been met and have not yet been planned. Hovering over a red grade level alert reminds you that additional credits should be planned for that grade. Grade levels that are gray indicate current or past grades, so they cannot be changed. But the grade levels in white indicate future grade levels and they can be edited. There are two ways to select courses for a future year. First, by clicking in the search the course catalog box, that, which will auto-populate all of the courses in the course catalog. 
Entering a course number or part of the course number narrows the search. Selecting one of the courses will bring up the following course information. The name of the course, how many credits it's worth, plus some of the requirements to take the course. If the student is eligible to take the course, buttons will appear allowing the student to choose which grade the student would like to take it. The course will then appear in the appropriate field on the planner. Another way to add a course is to click directly in the field of the grade in which the student plans to take the course. The only courses that appear are those that satisfy that specific subject or credit group. Select the course from the dropdown to add it to the planner. Multiple courses may be selected for a credit or a subject. When a selected course appears in red letters, prerequisites or other planning rules have not been met. The result will be an error when trying to save. Students should either fulfill the requirements by first planning a prerequisite course, changing the grade level, or replacing the course. Until the academic planners are locked, courses can be removed by clicking on the X. Once selections are made, click Save. This error message will appear if an ineligible course is added to the plan and the plan cannot be saved until the error is corrected. This message may also appear if a previously planned course is no longer being offered. When saving the plan, a box will appear indicating that the plan has been saved, but some requirements still haven't been met or planned. The Academic Planner is available on the portal for updating throughout the year. Students should refer to it often, especially in January and February, when the course registration process begins and courses are most likely to be added or removed from the course catalog. Students can plan all of their future years, but the most important planning is the upcoming school year. Those courses will become your requested courses when the master schedule is created. If planned courses are changed by the district, for example, the course is no longer going to be offered or the scheduling rules, such as the prerequisites, get modified, the course planner may be affected. This could result in courses being removed from the planner or turning red, indicating that requirements have not been met. The plan must be corrected before it can be saved. Students will be notified when the plans will be locked during course registration. Once locked, the planner cannot be edited by the student and all planned courses for the upcoming school year will become requested courses that can only be changed by a counselor. Thanks for playing that video, y'all. Um, you can always go back to that video. It is linked in the scheduling hub. Sometimes it's good to refresh us how we go in and schedule. In that, there was some conversation about grad planning. Graduation plannings is done alongside of your scheduling. It's in the same place that you do your scheduling for the, the next year, but the grad plan is basically all the years after that. It's something that we have to do each year. Um, many of you have probably already done it, but it's a good idea just to go back in and make sure that you know, things haven't changed or if you've changed and you can make adjustments. If you haven't done one yet, that's fine. Now's a great time to do it. Um, it is something that needs to be developed by you. Um, it addresses your academic pathway, and it's a great way to set goals as to what's going on going forward. You can also plan out honors diplomas, and you can have that conversation with a parent or guardian as to what you'd like to take in the years to come. It is important that you do have a parent or guardian check so they're aware of the classes you are requesting and also what your plan is going forward. At the top of your academic planner, when you go on to request, there will be a checkbox there. It's really small at the top left hand corner. It'll say approved by parent or legal guardian. Please make sure that a parent or legal guardian checks that box for us. It just gets everybody on the same page and it helps you moving forward. The scheduling hub, we had the scheduling hub last year. We'll do it again this year. It's available right now. It has all the materials that you see here today and more. It has the program of studies, 
which we encourage you to go check out today. Scheduling presentations, copies of the scheduling worksheets and balancing sheets, honors diploma information, everything. Everything that has to do with scheduling will be there. That will be the spot that um, you'll go to for any of your questions. Please make sure that you're checking that and you're also checking the principal's newsletters for updates. Important dates, all requests must be done by the 24th. That is um, coming up very soon. Now you're probably wondering why the heck am I listening to this now and it's due on Friday? Well, the weeks previous, you've been talking to your teachers and you've been talking about scheduling. The reason we want you to have it done so soon is because we're doing something new this year. We are gonna be meeting individually with all of you. So your counselors will be having individual meetings with rising 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. This way we can verify your requests and help you with the scheduling process. But to make this, this meeting more efficient, it is important and required that you have your requests in before you meet with us. Now you can put your requests in and you know maybe you might not be too happy with them, but that quick meeting you have with us, you we can help verify that and make sure you chose the right classes for you. These meetings will take place starting on the um, this week and moving on through 317. So make sure you have those done. Make sure you talk to your teachers because we are excited to meet with every single one of you so we can talk about um, your scheduling and verify your requests.